Sorry for the con for the noise. There's construction going on across the street. They're building a house. I don't know. We might have to egg it. Anyways, I am the Raven, most likely. This is Crazy Clowns, probably. And today, we will be doing a movie explained, a part of Movies Explained Month. And we'll be spending a pretty controversial movie. Critics hate it. Fans the and comic book fans, the big well now is good. Batman v Superman. AKA Batman vs. Superman. Dawn of Justice. Posting as trying to get out of the way. Me and Portman actually thought it was pretty good. I don't know, hit on us if you want for that. I just like anything with Batman in it. But anyways, something even more controversial than this movie is Superman within the movie itself because everyone's gunning for him. People are debating whether or not they need a Superman, whether or not Superman is should be held accountable for his actions. He destroyed half of Metropolis, the last movie probably. And one of the people who was hating on Superman is a senator from Kentucky who is basically the female version of Trump who Lex Luthor at some point in the movie would try to use her to get General Zod's dead body that's pretty weird General Zod's ship and an import license to bring in Kryptonite so he can make a deterrent but it's basically a weapon he wants to kill Superman he doesn't really have a reason why he wants to kill Superman. He's just Lex Luthor, guys. He he just ha hates Superman no matter what. But he's not the only one who wants to kryptonite and who hates Superman. Because Batman, because he's in the title, he, he obviously is in the movie, wants to fucking wreck Superman's day. He wants to fucking knock his block off. Yeah, I just said that. He hates Superman because... Stupid construction. Because Superman, during the battle, destroyed Wayne Enterprises' financial building, killed a bunch of people by accident. So he hates Superman. He wants to use the kryptonite to fucking kill him. And while trying to do so and get information from Lex Luthor about the kryptonite, who he's lying to... Fucking can't remember his name. Alfred. He's lying to Alfred about all of this, saying that they're trying to fight a criminal. Basically, while well, he's trying to get the information from Lex Luthor by stealing it, he meets who will soon be revealed as Wonder Woman, who steals his USB drive or something like that. And on the USB drive contains a bunch of teaser trails for all the Justice League members, including The Flash, Cyborg. Aquaman who looks badass in this movie in this universe and Martian Manhunter Not really Martian Manhunter is not in this universe. He should be though No Green Lantern either Who should really be played by Birdman as he just told me to say Birdman should get to play Green Lantern or direct Suicide Squad 2. I don't know. He wants to be in this universe somewhere Where was I? Fuck you, bold man. Anyway, while that's happening and Batman basically is trying to get Superman to come at him for the whole movie. Um, Lex Luthor, had to remember his name for a second there, who's played by Jesse Eisenberg, by the way. Pretty good. Not, let's say Lex Luthor is. Why are you mad at me? Lex Luthor in the movie, despite not being this the original Lex Luthor acting, he was a great character and having hair in the movie making fans mad just so in the end he gets his head shaven bald was a fantastic tease. I thought that was cool too. I was saying he's not Lex Luthor-ish but I still found him entertaining. But anyways, Wilder are really going to walk over there? God damn it. They didn't walk in the house for like three months but now they're suddenly doing Why it. Why would they want to live 
near us. I don't know why. Fucking soy side probably building a house. Actually, we know who's building a house, but it's Queen Bee's old boss, but whatever. Getting back to this movie, but like, that's all happening. Lex Luthor now, he's butting heads with the senator, decides to blow up the senator's building while Superman was there. So everyone now is even more controversial about Superman, Superman debates. Well, not he even should exist. As he also wants to fucking beat up Super, um, not beat up Superman. He wants to beat up Batman partially. Mostly as he do editorially journalism about Batman because Batman fucking is very brutal in this universe. Like he kicks mad ass in this universe. He's not afraid to actually kill people. Sounds like a bomb is going off over there. I'm gonna try to get through this. So, then he kidnaps Lois Lane, throws her off a building, causes Superman to come, who I think he was absent for a month at that point. And basically then says, I kidnapped your mom, ha ha ha, fuck you. Don't know what, oh look, they're going, I was saying to be louder. I was, I was trying, they're dying down over there. Basically, kidnap Super. Well, I'll just repeat that. Kidnap Lois Lane, toss off a building, Superman comes, says, Ha ha ha, I kidnapped your mom in order to get her back, because if you go near her where she is, we just don't set her on fire. Fucking fun. Um, he has to go fight and bring him the head of Batman in order to get the mom back because Lex Luthor wants to prove that if he's all powerful he can't be all good and if he's all good he can't be all powerful so then he tries to basically get Batman to kind of help him he doesn't really want to fight Batman he spends most of the movie saying Batman I don't want to fight you fuck off just want to do a journalistic piece on you but Batman who already got the kryptonite, basically set up a bunch of booby traps, has a robot suit, pretty cool looking, gets in a fight with Superman, evens the odds, and basically almost kills Superman, has a spear, kryptonite spear to his neck, about to kill him, when even more controversial moment happened, where he says, you got, we have to save Martha, Batman then goes in a frenzy, because Martha is not only Superman's mom's name, but Batman's, Lois Lane then comes up and explains, hey dude, that's his mom's name too, you gotta stop fucking around here. They then, ex Superman and him make up, the buddies now, stop moving around the camera. I hate you. Bold minute, everybody on the camera. They old buddy buddy. Batman does not want to let another Martha die because he blames himself for his Martha mom. Death. So then he goes saves Martha. Superman goes after Lex Luthor who reveals, ha ha ha, I have a backup plan, it's doomsday, fuck off. Then they then Batman and Superman try to fight Doomsday. When Wonder Woman comes to help the fuckers out, Batman doesn't do much against Doomsday. To be honest, he just like shoots off the kryptonite gas at him like once or twice. He and kind of runs around to distract him, I think, once. Batman's useless against Doomsday, guys. Sorry. Except if he probably had the robotic suit on and the kryptonite spear. Speaking of kryptonite spear, sac Superman sacrifices himself, killing Doomsday and himself in the process. What? Uh, anyways, fucking bag rolling by like a tumbleweed. I'm so really, I'm just distracted today, honestly. Fuck the construction, fuck that bag, fuck the suicide, and fuck Boy Joba. Superman dies. Lex, Tragic. Lex Luthor's in jail, as Bowman explains, he gets his head shaven, and reveals that he has another backup plan. Something is coming, it's gonna be strong. So Batman 
who I then say he's played by Ben Affleck. You probably all know that. He's very controversial. For years to come, people are going to be debating if he's a good Batman. Ben Affleck, aka Batfleck, aka Batman, aka Bruce Wayne, and Wonder Woman now must team up to find the rest of the Justice League members aside for Green Lantern and Martian Manhunter. And Hawkman. And Hawkman. And there's others, but they're not as in, they're not yeah. really mainstream. Santana. Yeah. I don't know. People are debating apparently whether or not Cyborg should really be in the Justice League movie. He's majorly part of Justice League and newer things. A founding member and It has nothing to do with the movie. I don't know. It's... This is like the most you like to say everything in this video is controversial. Cyborg is controversial. He is. People don't everything want about this movie is controversial. You're a dick. Hey, Superman's controversial in the movie. The movie itself is very controversial. Just sign out the fucking video. Batman controversial. Sign out the video. He is the Raven. I might have been the Raven. No, you are. That might have been construction by the soy side. That might be a plastic bag over there. That probably is Boardman. I am Boardman. This it may or may not be the crazy clowns. Why do you have to do this? <laughs> Movies explained month. Batman v Superman just happened. We'll be doing more of these. Good night. You spin my head, wow, 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 wow.